Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lieutenant Real Shrimp or Phil here, coming at you guys again with another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to go over how to reinstall and do a clean install of your AMD graphics drivers. Now, if you've been experiencing, say, weird graphical issues, uh, game slowdowns, you know, just any sort of weirdness to do with your monitor, with your games, anything to do with your graphics card, could be that you have old graphics drivers, um, your graphics drivers weren't properly installed, or there's just another issue. So, how do you solve this? Well, open your computer, go open your web browser, for me that's Google Chrome, go to Display Driver Uninstaller, you'll see here for me it's the first option to search it in Google, and the first option that should come up is wagnerdmobile.com, this is the website you want to go to. Click on it, once you're in the website, Click on Downloads and then Display Driver Uninstaller, DDU. Go to the bottom, click on the latest version, click on Download. It will download. Wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, open your download folder, double click. It'll extract because it's actually in a zip file. Extract it. All right, now you want to double click the Display Driver Uninstaller EXE. Ta-da! All right, so basically this warning that it's giving you is safe mode. You are not in safe mode. It is highly recommended that you reboot into safe mode to avoid possible issues. Reboot into safe mode now, question mark. You want to do that. So essentially what safe mode does is it restarts your Windows 8.1. I believe this was introduced with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. I don't know how Windows 7 works respectively. But what it does is it reboots Windows in a mode where it loads no drivers, no nothing. It's a baseline Windows, um, like it's running baseline Windows with nothing. So no graphics drivers, no audio drivers, nothing specialized. And uh, yeah, what that allows you to do is you can kind of edit drivers and do this and do that and uninstall and reinstall without, you know, breaking something or without causing any issues to Windows. So what you want to do is just click yes and your computer will restart. Now, depending on your hard drive speed, of course, it may take longer or shorter. There's my beautiful AS Rock logo from my motherboard, a Z87 uh, Extreme 9AC motherboard, I believe. And for those of you who don't know, I have a AMD 7970 reference graphics card installed. All right, thanks to my SSD, I am already rebooted. That was what, like 10 seconds right there, something like that. I have a 840 Evo, in case you guys are wondering, 256 gigabyte. All right, enter your password. Oh my God, you guys can see my email there. Oh and your screen will look like this. And now you're probably going, what the fuck is going on here? Well, again, it loaded a baseline version of Windows without your driver. So Windows doesn't really know what sort of uh, monitor is connected and it doesn't know the resolution. So to be safe, we reboot it into safe mode. It actually restarts uh, in the lowest resolution possible. All right, the display driver uninstaller window should come up automatically. Why can't I click you away? There we go should come up automatically and it should also automatically select your graphics driver. It'll detect your Windows version 8.1. As you can see here, I'm running 8.1 64-bit. And my graphics driver that it has detected is AMD. It has detected it correctly. Now, in most cases, it should detect your graphics card correctly or your installed drivers. Uh, if it does not, you simply have to select which one. Now, if you're, on an, uh, if you're on a laptop and you have Intel drivers and, say, NVIDIA drivers or AMD drivers, you know, you've got dual, you've got an integrated graphics card and a discrete graphics card, you may have to select the one that you want to uninstall. Excuse me. You may have to select the exact drivers you want to uninstall. It may not detect the correct graphics card because it really doesn't know. Maybe you want to get new Intel drivers or new AMD or NVIDIA, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just going to click on AMD. And then you have three options here. Clean and restart, clean and do not restart, and clean and shut down. Clean and restart is what we're going to do. Uninstall the current and previous drivers, then restart your computer. This is the most highly recommended one because, well, that's simply you know what you want to do. You want to clean the drivers out, and then you want to reboot and uh, install your new drivers. Clean and do not restart. Um, this may cause issues and is just not recommended. I don't know why you'd ever use this option. Um, you basically, it'll, it'll uninstall the current drivers and it'll just sit there and do nothing. That's not what you want to do. Now the last option is if you're installing new hardware. So the option is clean and shut down. What it'll do is it'll clean out all the previous drivers, everything, logs, any sort of hidden files you have, 
related to a graphics driver, and then it'll shut down your computer. This is ideal if you're, say, switching from uh, NVIDIA to AMD or AMD to NVIDIA, or you've got a new graphics card, say you're upgrading from a GTX uh, 680 to a 980 or from an AMD 7970 to an R9 290X. You know, you're just stepping up. Well, it's always a good idea when you're doing that to reinstall your graphics drivers just, you know, for the sake of sakeness. I don't know. So, but what we're going to do is clean and restart. Now, you see here at the bottom, it, in the log, it shows DDU version. It shows the GPU, what it's detected here. It's detected in my 7900 7, series. I have a 7970 installed, of course. Just click clean and restart. It'll do a bunch of stuff here. Don't worry, it's not installing a virus or anything. Wait for it to restart. It'll now restart. And... It'll go right back into Windows, but this time it booted into normal Windows. And you will be like, oh my god, my resolution is all weird again. It looks all bad and stuff like that. No worries, that's because you simply don't have a graphics driver installed. So, what we're going to do is now install your graphics driver again. Oh, that looks so hideous. All right, so click on your web browser. Now, since I have an AMD graphics card, I'm going to simply search for AMD. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm going to go to Download Drivers. And then you have two options. You can automatically detect and install your driver. That's if you don't know exactly what you're supposed to get, if you don't know your Windows version, etc. However, if you do know exactly what um, graphics card you have and what version of Windows you have, in my case, that's Windows 8.1 64-bit, and I have a HD 7000 series card, uh, then you can select a custom driver. So I'm going to click on Windows 8.164 bit. Now you have, a, again, some options. Um, it'll, it should give you the latest stable driver. However, there are beta drivers. I don't ever recommend installing beta drivers unless you are uh, living on the edge and you want to like always have the cutting edge and be extreme. However, remember, beta does mean beta, so it may crash, it may cause issues, etc. I always recommend going with stable. And it should show you the latest stable drivers. So simply click on Download. We'll wait for that. Now, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, simply type in NVIDIA, click on drivers, and again, same option. It's a little, I'd say it's more beautifully laid out than on the AMD uh, site, but basically, option one, manually find your driver. So if you know you have a GeForce 900 series, GTX 980, you've got Windows 860, Windows 8.164 bit, the language is English, simply click search, and there we go, it'll now have your driver. If you're too lazy to do that, or you don't know exactly what you have, option two is automatically, just like for AMD, you can just automatically search it. It'll download a little, it'll download a little EXE program. It will search through your computer, find out what kind of graphics card and system you have, uh, if you have a 64, 32-bit OS, and it should install the correct drivers. All right, now AMD should be finishing up here. I get a, what is it, 120 megabits down, so my internet is fairly fast, so I can download 300 megabytes. God, I hate that. That's always so confusing. Pretty fast. All right, simply click on your EXE once you've got it, or go to your download folder. Click on Install. Now, this is actually just not installing. It's simply copying the files to the correct location. It's not actually installing anything yet, so don't worry. You have some options. Wait for this to complete. Depending on your hard drive speed, your processor, your RAM amount, and uh, various other factors, it may take longer. Like I said, I have a um, SSD, so this should go pretty fast, and it is going pretty fast. And then you will be presented by a nice screen. Excuse me. Select the uh, language, of course, English for me. Click Next. Now you have two options again. You've got Express or Custom Installation. So for most of you, Express Installation is fine. Uh, what it'll do is it'll just simply install, you don't have to worry about anything, and uh, you're good to go. However, note, Express includes the AMD Gaming Evolved app powered by Raptor. So the AMD Gaming Evolved app is an app uh, which actually AMD worked together with Raptor, and what it does is it functions sort of like the GeForce Experience app from NVIDIA. So what it'll do is it'll tell you about the latest drivers you can download. If there are new drivers, it'll tell you about... Um, new games for, um, like new profiles, it'll optimize games for you, so uh, say there's a new game out and you don't know what your graphics card can run or what settings or whatever, or you're too lazy to you know, do that on your own, you simply click optimize and boom, it'll have all the optimized settings for you. For me personally, I don't really like the app, it's a little bit clunky, um, it 
just takes up space and I personally like to keep my computer very, very clean. So I'm gonna click on custom, click next. Now it's gonna detect my system. It's gonna find out what sort of hardware I have and uh, what it can install. So there are a couple of things here. The Catalyst install manager, of course, we wanna install the AMD display driver, we wanna install an HDMI audio driver. Now, have you guys looked at my Game Capture HD or HD60 tutorials on how to record your uh, Windows computer or your PC, I guess, using a capture card? Well, some of you may have noticed that sometimes in your HDMI device or in voice meter, which is part of my other tutorial, um, you can't see a HDMI audio device. Um, and that is because sometimes the HDMI audio driver is not installed or gets corrupted or something. So triple make sure that the HDMI audio driver is being installed. This is needed so that audio can go over the HDMI from your graphics card to your desktop or your capture card or whatever you're using to record or you know to, to look at or whatever if you're not using uh, speakers or if you want to you know route it to a audio video receiver and then get 7.1 surround sound or something the rest you want to leave accelerated video transcoding that helps with um, like apps so they can as you can see here AMD accelerated video transcoding provides direct show filters for video encoding you just want to install that, of course, Catalyst Control Center, and then the AMD Gaming Evolved app. Now, I'm going to uncheck that, again, because I don't want to install it, and I'm ready. Simply click Next, agree to the ULA, agree to give your firstborn to them, kidding, and it should now actually install your driver. Just give it a bit, um, and your screen may flicker while it's installing the display driver, as you can see there. Oh, there we go, and voila, it's back. Oh, look, and the resolution is good. But you guys may notice there's a black border around the monitor, or rather in, in the monitor. It's not a full 1080p. Now, this is something I've noticed that happens often when you're recording with a capture card, as I am now. I'm recording this with my Game Capture HD60, um, that it doesn't detect exactly what, it, what the capabilities of the card are. Anyways, so the drivers are installed, and you want to reboot your computer. Restart your computer. Always, whenever you install drivers, be it audio drivers, graphics drivers, you uninstall something, always reboot your computer. Uh, it's sort of like a principle of mine. That way, there's less of a um, uh, like chance for issues to be caused or issues to be had. All right, so again, you see there, there's this black border, and that's pretty simple to get rid of. Uh, it took me quite a while, originally back like three years ago. God damn it. It took me quite a while to figure out how to get rid of it. Um, I had to talk to AMD, I had to talk to Elgato back before I worked for them, and uh, eventually I sort of found it out on my own. But what you want to do is right-click, go to your AMD Catalyst Control Center. Now, I don't know if this happens on NVIDIA. I have always had an AMD graphics card, so uh, for you NVIDIA users, I'm not quite sure. If you do have an NVIDIA graphics card and this does happen to you and you know the solution, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Anyways, open your AMD Catalyst Control Center, click on My Digital Flat Panels, click on Scaling Options, and you'll see here, for some reason, the underscan is set to 8% or something like that. I have no clue why it does this. I really don't, um, but it just simply happens. What you want to do, take the slider and drag it to 0%, and there you go. You're done. As you can see here, my screen is Elgato. I am recording with my Game Capture HD. HD60, and uh, the last thing you want to do is go to pixel format. Now, if you guys don't know, DVI, which is that white cable or the um, the uh, little uh, display port, um, that is the little flat one that looks not like HDMI but close to it, those will always default to the right color format, which is uh, RGB444, which is like full color, meaning if you guys don't know how colors on computers work, basically there's... Um, there's 0 to 255, so 0 is, uh, don't, uh, don't quote me if I, don't quote me on this, but I believe 0 is black and 255 is white. However, you see here that there's RGB 444 limited RGB. Now that goes 16 to 240 or something like that. So it cuts off the whitest whites and the blackest blacks. And obviously you don't want that. You want a full color range. Um, what, that issue, what that may cause is color banding. You know, when you see like smoke or something like that, and you see like the different layers of color in the smoke, that's what's called banding. That's what can happen. What you want to do is you want to click on RGB 444 pixel format PC standard full RGB, and then click apply. 
your monitor may refresh. You won't necessarily notice the difference right away, but uh, you can switch between those two formats and you will definitely see in your icons and games you're playing, you will definitely see a difference. Um, things that may not be see-through on limited, may be see-through on limited, on full, because the, the, you know, the color setting is correct and everything. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, and you're done. Um, if you are recording with the Game Capture HD or HD60, um, since your PC is outputting now full RGB, you also want to set it to full um, expanded in the game capture settings. You will see there's standard or expanded color range. Set that to expanded since this is expanded as well. Um, and obviously you want to, you know, capture in the correct format. All right, guys, if this video has helped you, uh, please leave in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, again, comment below. I'd be happy to answer them just like in all my previous videos. Um, and please, if you guys have an issue, don't say I have an issue. Say I have an issue and I have tried this, 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 and this, or I have done this and that and those things. But again, I need more info than it's not working. It's like tech support's like worst nightmares when someone says it's not working and then isn't like cooperative. So please, if it's not working, give a short you know, summary of why it's not working or, or what's not working or what's happening and then uh, it'll be easier to help out. Now, why did it switch back? Oh, there we go. Okay, it should stay like that. Anyways, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. If you guys uh, have an NVIDIA graphics card and you need me to really make a tutorial on that, I can. Again, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, my name is Phil, or LT Royal Shrimp. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!